What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back for part 2 of this YZ250 build. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, I'll put a card up so you can go check it out. So let's just get right into this thing. This is the parts I pulled off from the first episode and they are crusty. So we're going to go ahead and clean these up and get them shining like they're brand new. So what we're going to use to clean up these parts is gunk engine cleaner. So cover me. So the car wash got the parts pretty clean, but I gotta go over the whole thing with steel wool to get it really shining, and it's a pain. <sighs> this took a really long time just trying to get in all the cracks and crevices of these parts, but once I was done they were shining like a mirror. For the rest of the smaller parts, I just made them a little bath with some of this simple green max and a lot of hot water. I just laid all the parts in here and let them soak for a few hours and once they came out, they were just really easy to scrub up and get really shiny and clean. The simple green cleaner works wonders on aluminum. It really brings back a shine to the metal. So here's all the parts that we got cleaned up at the car wash and in the bath, but this one's kind of scraped up and I need to do some more scrubbing on it, but everything else came pretty clean. Let's go ahead and get started on painting these wheels. So I'm going to take a scotch bright pad and go around the rim. And the goal here is to just scratch up the surface so the primer and the paint has something to adhere to. The more time you take on this, the better the end result will be. It's really important to get around these spokes in the middle too. It's kind of hard to get to, but just take your time. So once you got them scotch brighted up, uh, I just took some masking tape and masked off all these spokes. A really easy way to do it, and I wish I would have done it, but I didn't, is to go to McDonald's or Burger King or something and get those thick straws. They'll fit right over the spokes and tuck right in, and you can actually paint them. I saw it on a different YouTube video, and I wish I would have seen it before I had done all this. So after much effort and much time, we finally got it done. So to mask off the tire, just use some note cards and slip it in between the rim and the tire. This saves loads of time than just taping up the tire. The only thing is, you have to paint around the note card really carefully so you get the edge of the rim and you don't show any metal.
So now we're going to take some acetone and a microfiber towel and just go around the rim. The Scotch-Brite left this fine dust and you don't want that there when you try to paint it. So now I'm going to give it two coats of self-etching primer. Self-etching primer adheres to bare metals a lot better than the other primers and will let your paint stick a lot better. Then we're going to give it two coats of this satin black. So keep the first coat kind of light and just don't worry about max coverage. And then the second coat, make sure you get everything. Then we're going to finish it off with this satin clear to protect the paint and keep it from chipping just a little bit longer. So you may be thinking, why am I spray painting these wheels when I had the frame powder coated? The reason is, I'm going to get new wheels eventually, but I'm going to run these until they're just no more. And here's our finished product. I think they look pretty good. If only I was good with a camera, you'd probably think so too. So look what we got back from powder coating. So I went ahead and went with a dark gunmetal gray metallic. I know a lot of you commented semi-gloss black and I went with a dark gray that was almost black but it wasn't just to add a little bit of flash but I really like the way it turned out. Here in this lighting you can see all the metallic flakes in it. So we're pretty much done with restoring all the parts and cleaning them up and I think it's time that we go buy some brand new parts. Alright, let's get it going. Motosport.com Oh yeah, Wiseco top end kit. We definitely need one of those. Oh, what size, what size. Oh, we're going to stock on it. Alright, add a cart. Ooh, a clutch cover. We definitely need one of these. These adds about 30 horsepower. Um, colored black. Yeah, real black on it. Well, if I got the clutch cover, I better get the ignition cover to match. It's, that's, a, that's a given. Black, of course. Add the cart. Oh, buddy. A fatty pipe. That's real shiny. What kind of sounds there, shorty? Nah, we're not short. We're tall as hell. Let's get a long one. Ooh, new chain and sprocket. Yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff means. Let's just click something here. Fourteen tooth. Yeah, that will that'll work right there. Rear sprocket. Uh, Fifty teeth. That's how many teeth a shark has, and this is a great white dirt bike. Uh, gold chain. Two chains. We're just gonna get one chain actually. Let's see here. A twin air pre oil filter. Yeah, I, ain't, I don't know all that shit. Alright, let's go see what the Chinese got to offer at on eBay. Ooh, this graphic kid looks pretty nice. I like Rockstar. That's Ad Cart. Okay. Ooh, ooh Poly Sport. That looks pretty nice. Good old seat cover. Enjoy. Uh, Ad Cart. Ooh, an extended gas tank for more fuel. More fuel means go faster, right? Okay. Man, the Chinese got these hand guards figured out. $19.99, that's a steel ad card. Alright, down to Amazon. Rinthal bars. Uh, ad card. Let's, let's go ahead, ad card. Ooh, pillow grips. That looks comfortable. I don't really like doing wheelies with these. Mm, ad card. Got uh, some frame guards. I better protect that powder coating while I still can. Alright, let's see what my total. Holy shit. Oh, this is not good. Well, there she is, guys. Ready to go back together once I get all the parts in the mail. In the next episode, we're going to be redoing the top end of the motor. And we're going to start reassembling this bike. So go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for the next episode and I'll see you next time.